Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be continuing our Demon Slayer journey and starting this new arc, the Entertainment District arc. It's the continuation of the movie. So they covered the whole movie in the past seven episodes. So technically this is the eighth episode of season two, but from now on everything is gonna be new again. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm super excited. I think they're also gonna show us some kind of like aftermath of what happened at the end of the movie. You know, like how Rengoku's death affected the whole, I don't know, the whole Demon Slayer community, I suppose. And we'll see what Tanjiro and the others are gonna do next and how they're gonna continue the adventures. So I'm super excited. I think we'll also get to hear the new OP and ending maybe, I'm not sure. In any case, my Demon Slayer earrings are back and yeah, I'm just super excited. So without further ado, let's hop right into the episode. So let's go. All right, I am ready. So I'm gonna see the episode in three, two, one. Damn, that battle. <gasps> that battle is so intense. Damn. Oof. Oh, so this is like from Tanjiro's perspective. Like how he viewed that fight, you know? So powerful. I'm not gonna cry yet, guys. I'm not gonna cry at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> oh man. Set your heart ablaze, yes. That's like the iconic phrase, you know? So iconic. Oh man. So that's how it looked um, in the anime, okay? Oof, his reflection in his eye. Yeah, it was a tiny bit different from the movie. I'm sorry guys, I haven't seen the, the past episode yet. I just didn't have the time. But I don't think there were like any major differences from the movie. So those people are right. the Rengoku household and his little brother Aww. oh no 
why like i can already feel the tears coming you know <laughs> but just just to just when i imagine how sad the little brother must feel because he looked up to his brother so much you know oh yeah that moment oh yes that was like yes But yeah, now he, he lost his sword again. <sighs> Is this the new OP? Or maybe not. Oh my god. That was so cool. Wow, the visuals are so dope. But no, okay, this is not the opening. Because I remember the second opening was supposed to be sung by Aime. And this is just only instrumentals. Alright, who is that? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely not like the official opening, but it still looks super cool. Yeah, they're really showing off with the animation and the visuals. But who is this boy? It wouldn't surprise me if it was Muzan again, in another form. Either that's a new character, or either that's Muzan. I don't know, like with the black hair, it just reminded him of him. Sound has a thing in Uze. Yeah, you, that's the one you see like in the posters and stuff, right? I think that's gonna be like the next Hashirai focus. That already rings a lot of bells, you know, you can go out during the daylight because of a skin condition. We know what that is. Oh. Alright. Oh yeah. I knew it! It was Muzan! But then as a little boy. Oh. Even as a little boy, he's terrifying. The blue spider lily. Oh, 
Uh oh. Did you press another wrong button? I mean, it was a hard battle, you know. <laughs> you can give him some credits. <laughs> I mean, he was up against Rengoku. Talking about that um, throw by Tanjiro. <laughs> Wait, so he doesn't notice all that mess and shattered glass and stuff. I do really like his character design though. I mean, even though he killed Rengoku. Oh man, yeah, I don't completely hate him as a character. He's still really dope. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so he completely destroyed Tanjiro's sword. But he already need the new one anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Tanjiro, I don't know if I'm going to be a good one. I don't know if I'm going to be a good one. I don't know if I'm going to be a good one. I don't know if I'm going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah, he looks totally fine. Is this a new girl? I don't feel like I've seen her yet. Or is she one of those three? going oh he's 
going to the Rengoku House Hall. Miss the little brother. What made his dad that way? His dad also used to be a Hashira, you know? Yeah. But Rengoku did tell him to go to his household, you know, because maybe his father or like some documents they had could tell him more about his power. So it's like the original one, which does make a lot of sense, you know, because the sun is like demon's biggest weakness. Damn. 
he's just not there yet and then there's also this question of why he uses water breathing technique normally you know <laughs> just the usual headbutt yes I mean, I think they all just had some pent up frustrations, right? Some little, a little bit of fighting is okay. <laughs> I mean, the devil's also being a douchebag, so it's fine, I think. Super cool. think so わざわざ足を運んでいただいたのに、この壁から木の下へと木の呼吸について結局何も大丈夫です。自分がやるべきことは分かっていますので、もっと頼むよ。That's good, at least he knows what he needs to improve and how to get stronger. So that's already like one step, you know? <gasps> this shot, so cool. <laughs> the little brother is so cute.
This is gonna end their lineage, I suppose. But exactly, what he decided is also an, an answer, you know? It's making me all emotional again. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, damn it. So mad for losing this sword. <laughs> I first thought that was Zaytsu, you know, who came after him, but man, <laughs> this is even better. <laughs> oh man, this guy's crazy. I love him. The whole night.
さんは今どうしてるの鏡塚さんなら縁側でみたらし団子を食べていらっしゃいますよ。ありがとうございます。なんとかひげも直したのよ。よかった。<笑> so I guess he loves dango so much. <laughs> yes, love it. What? Those little girls don't weigh anything, I think. <laughs> Ooh, all right, four months. Oh. And he got a new sword. I mean, they all got more buff, you know? Look at Zay too. He's all like muscles. Oh no, here's the next mission. <laughs> all right. So only Tanjiro went on that mission. Oh, okay, there he is. And let's go, yes. ここまでだ。申し訳ないけど。やめるなよ。キャバ。自然集中。水の呼吸。火の火だ。So clean. Yeah, this is small fry. You know, we already used to dealing uh more higher level uh demons. But I guess this is not all. <laughs> There must be more.
think he's almost back. Okay, so that wasn't a difficult mission. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was wondering when he was gonna show up. I mean... He just think them. What is this even about? I have no idea what's going on. But oh oh he's fast I mean of course he he's Hashira oh it's a ninja ninja demon slayer Love him already. <laughs> yeah, even the one of the little ones. not like a fighter type you know Him and let's go. Oh, our date too. Oh, <laughs> look, he's so serious. Especially when it comes to girls, you know. And the one who's feeding them every day. The squad. <laughs> Just now, you were so brave. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, he let Aoi go. I 
I mean, he was one of the larger ones, right? Out of the Hashira. I love it when they do this. This is a new ending. Or the or opening. Oh, this is a new opening. Yeah, this Ama. Oh my god. Oh, I'm already so excited about what's gonna come. I mean, this already spoils a lot, but I don't even care. I'm so excited to see all of this in like full scenes and fights. And the song is also great. Of course, it's Aime. Whew. There's more. Ah, just the ending credits. But yeah, the, the, the song, it was good. But it was different than I expected, I think. I mean, Aime often sings like these more like ballad kind of songs. So she often does like endings. Uh, and when it comes to openings, it's still a bit more mellow and slower paced. But this was one quite uplifting, you know? But oh man, I'm already so excited. But this new Hashira, Uze. Like, he already really intrigued me when they first introduced all the Hashira. Like, his character design is so awesome. Like, I was already immediately like, I really want to get to know him better. And he's just as eccentric and as all the other Hashira, you know? <laughs> they all have like very unique personalities. Um, yeah, like we haven't been fully introduced to all of them yet. Or like properly. But so far, like, I mean, they all are very unique. <sighs> yeah. Okay, but this was a very long episode. Like halfway through, I was like, the episode's still ongoing, but I didn't realize that it was actually like two episodes in one, you know? So that was a pleasant surprise, I must say. But also the first part, you know, where Tanjiro went to visit the Rengoku household. Oh man, that was also very emotional. And the little brother, Sinjiro, he was already like super cute and sweet. But then we also had the father who was just drinking his sorrows away, you know. There was no way that he didn't feel anything with his son passing away. But at the end, you know, when the... Senjiro delivered that message. The father was still, you know, we finally saw those tears. And I was like, yes, I knew it. Like, he was just drinking his sorrows away, you know? Alright, what's this?
<laughs> oh man, Uze is gonna so regret taking them with him, you know? <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with these guys? <laughs> yes, that's what I said! Alright, let's hear it. <laughs> so that. I mean, despite the way he acts and is, I think he is indeed responsible, you know? He's still a Hashira after all. To be continued. Alright, I'm gonna make it very short because I actually have to leave for work already, otherwise I'm gonna be late. I just didn't realize that there was like a two episodes and one video, you know? But yeah, this is a great start of this new arc. I'm like super excited for what's coming. Of course, with Uzui in the center and Tanjiro and the others supporting him. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. S I'm just so ready to see their like new interactions and stuff, and to see how they're gonna grow under Uzui's guidance. You could say, you know, like in a similar way as how they learned from Rengoku, you know? Yeah, I already talked about the first part. It was just so emotional. We had a bit of a recap of Rengoku's death and then um, as we knew, like, Rengoku told Tanjiro to visit the mansion. So he went to talk to um, Senjiro and the father and we learned a bit more about the sun breathing technique as well. So that was actually like the, the original one, you know, the, the first one created. And like I said like it makes a lot of sense because the sun is the demon's biggest enemy so i guess that made a lot of sense and wasn't very surprising but just um because of that like the father felt a lot of resentment towards Tanjiro, and i feel like there's more behind that as well and i feel like the father is gonna return into the story because also i don't know i feel like a lot of stuff happened during his past that is gonna be relevant later on maybe not at the moment but I feel like he's gonna come back but yeah then we kind of moved on we had a little like training session once again we saw how Tanjiro went on a solo mission as well together with Nezuko and then um, he met Uze and that's how we start this new arc you know they're going to Yukaku like the entertainment district Oof. I'm so excited already so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Honestly, I don't have much more to say about it either, but also, like I just said, I don't have time to talk anymore. So yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you can see my reaction to the other videos, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. So in any case, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.